door. As we plan to get started promptly at 7, we're, we can now officially convene this meeting and um, go into the roll call just so the record can reflect who is here uh, among us. We start on the left. Who is it? Andy, is that you were to my left? I can't even see through the stage. Go ahead. Andy McDonald. Helen Hankel. Jack Hansley. Earl Hibbert. Fred Mueller. Mark Fletcher. Paul Hart. Frank Rubino. And Joan Oka, Chairman. I guess um, Mr. Pittman hasn't arrived in the end yet. Okay. By the way, have, Helen, did you hear anything from Pittman? Do we expect him? Or, or I, I saw him yesterday. <coughs> oh, yes? And did he say he was planning to come? Oh, okay. Well, he's still there. He's had problems in the past and got here a little late. That's okay. All right. Uh, the next order of business is the recognition of the fact that we are absent one member, and that's Joe Martin who started to talk about Joe just a few minutes ago. Um, I found Joe, you know, personally I didn't know Joe very long. I knew him only the length of time that he served on the board. I knew his brother went much longer. His brother and I ran for office together. His brother was quite a character with 13 children. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know Joe other than oh, how he, to the extent he participated. He and his, all of you remember, he was rather a quiet individual. And he, he practically had a draw of a response from him. So I really didn't get to know him, but of course, that's unimportant. The fact that we were all serving on the same board together. There's a camaraderie that grows from that mere fact. So I was saying that he was one of our own. It leaves, of course, an opening that's got to be filled. And that, uh, that can't even be filled until there's a resolution of uh, the council president's race, because he's intimately involved, along with the uh, chief judge of the city court and the mayor. So anyway. I would like to propose that when we adjourn this evening, we adjourn in the memory of Joe Martin. Anybody have any feeling on that uh, score? Any pro, con, anything? I would like to second that, Judge. Okay. Well, in favor that we adjourn in Joe's memory, indicate by saying aye. Aye. All right, Captain. Next order of business is the question of the minutes of the last meeting. If there's anyone here that take issue with the minutes, if so, we meet up on Ms. Brown or what? Um, any objections to it? What was reported in those minutes? Did, were they reported accurately, inaccurately? Anybody have any feelings one way or another? If not, just make a motion. I'll take a motion. Be accepted. Okay, motion that means be accepted. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. That motion is carried. The next item on the agenda is uh, the issue of correspondence from the mayor, other heads of departments, etc., etc., etc. Well, I received some correspondence just last night, late, I got to read it today, that, that I, which I could read, I say, which I could read because they were poor copies and the adaptive equipment that enables me to read, I don't read with my physical sight, I read with my ears. What I mean by that is, with a computer, you send me a letter, I put it on the screen, and a minute later it starts to read through a robotic voice. But it's got to be a clean copy. A ribbon copy is the best, of course. If it's a second or third or fourth generation uh, copy or carbon, whatever, it throws it all off. So a good part of what was given to me, I was unable to read. But I certainly got the gist of what was going on here. That's what I was alluding, alluding to uh, earlier tonight when Frank was uh, talking about which kind of comments are we discussing. Excuse me, Judge, we, have, we also received in our packet referral 
We see uh, what, Ellen? In our packet that was mailed. Yes, what else? Referral from the Inspector General regarding finding of the Yowl. So that's also on the agenda. Oh, okay. The Yonkers Alliance for Latino I didn't get that one then. All right. Any event, uh, we have some very hot mail to discuss. Okay. Right. So, uh, 